like just in life in general I don't feel like I have to fit in or be who I'm not to be accepted because I know I'm accepted by Christ and I Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In honor of the new year quickly approaching, I wanted to do this video because I did one last year and I thought it'd just be really cool to look back on this year and kind of review um, all the crazy stuff I've been through and kind of share with you guys too. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, join the family, um, hit me up on Twitter, hit me up in the comments, whatever you want. I am here at your service. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so let me go on to the five biggest lessons I have learned in 2016. the major lessons I've learned in 2016 was my season of singleness. I learned so much about myself in this season. I learned that singleness isn't a curse. It truly is not a curse. Singleness is actually a beautiful gift from God. Let God equip you now and if anything let God be the one you rely on. Like personally for me if you've watched my last video about um, singleness and serial dating I'll put the link below. I talked a little bit about how I needed a season of singleness. So I was single for about a year. I think accurately approximately 11 months and I really took this time to get in the Word of God and um, I learned who Christ was for myself, who he called me to be. And it's like when you learn that for yourself in these moments of singleness, you learn to rely on God. You learn to know who you are without any other attachments to you. Um, and I think it's just so important. I'm so pro singleness for the season that it's in. I'm so pro not rushing God's will for your life. So if you are in this season where you're single and you're like, man, I'm sick of it. Don't be sick of it. You know, cherish this season, um, invest in this season, grow close to Christ continue to let him sanctify you continue to let him build you into the woman that you are called to be and the woman that you are going to be when the time is right I truly feel like uh, my season of singleness was so important to me because there's so much I learned about myself I learned to rely on God most importantly and I didn't need a man there to validate me or to tell me who I am or to you know make me feel loved or make me feel cared for and it was just an amazing experience so um, that was one of the biggest lessons I probably could say I've learned like throughout the whole year yeah I did get lonely sometimes but I really felt like that was just my flesh and I had to fight that by understanding and reminding myself of my worth and my standards and um, by the grace of God God did send someone so <laughs> I am in a stable relationship um, a God centered relationship and um, I'm just excited because I didn't expect it I thought I was going to be dating by 28 so we praise God <laughs> we thank him for you know providing but um, yeah that's definitely one of the lessons I learned um, it may be a month for you it may be three months it may be a year it may be five years I don't know but that's something between you and God singleness was so important for me it really helped clear my head it really helped me focus it really helped me really just know who I am truly in Christ one other lesson I learned in 2016 is everyone is not your friend. Okay, in a no shade way, everyone is not your friend. You know, that's just the way life works. My mom actually made it more clear to me one day. She was like, no ma, everyone is not your friend. Some people are your acquaintances and that's like that's so real and it's so true because it's like I think that especially for people like me I'm super friendly I'm super social so I'm I'm prone to think that I have a million friends or I have a thousand friends but it's like when you step back and you actually you know go through the Word of God or you just look at life in general and you see man this is what a friend does this is how a friend behaves this is how a friend cares for you loves you and whatever the case may be and you understand so much clearly what a friend is and I think that it's okay it's okay to have a few friends and a lot of acquaintances you don't have to be friends with the whole world you don't have to be friends with everybody you don't have to fit in the key factor is to understand that it's okay to have acquaintances it's okay to have friends um, my big motto is quality over quantity I'd rather have two real friends than a thousand fake friends honestly just I would rather know people who are generally rooting for me or people who generally care and love me than those that kind of like pretend to or not really pretend to but they don't really care but they're just kind of like there for the show type stuff. So I think that in life you just have to really discern between the two and I've really done um, by the grace of God I've done a really good job at doing that so thankfully 
that's kind of the mindset I'm moving into 2017 with um, friends and acquaintances love them all love everyone and just know not to attach yourself to everyone that you may think is a friend um, because some people are there for a season and some people are there for like literally a moment so yeah uh, my third biggest lesson was legalism versus a relationship with Jesus when I first got saved I was really zealous I was overzealous and I was just like on fire for God and like doing stuff and doing this and like you know um, honestly when you're overzealous like that without any direction you're you're bound to um, make mistakes and you're bound to do the most really and um, I got into a pretty unhealthy relationship and really tilted more to the legalistic side and was pretty much in bondage and one thing that I realized is like when I came to faith in Christ I left the bondage of sin and walked <laughs> what right over to the bondage of legalism and honestly like just seeing the Pharisees and seeing how legalistic they are and seeing how much in bondage they are and you're literally in bondage you're literally being weighed down by these legalistic characteristics and I just learned to just be who I am in Christ who is Crystal OG in Christ and that's literally what I've learned throughout this season my relationship with Jesus um, being called as a daughter of Christ and knowing that I am saved by grace through faith and knowing that yes I do have a responsibility as a child of God to conduct myself as a child of God and just understanding again that I my freedom is in Christ my freedom isn't to sin my freedom is in Christ my freedom isn't to abuse his grace but my freedom is in Christ and I find so much more peace in just being who I am in Christ and being able to laugh and being able to dance and being able to express myself in different ways whether it be fashion whether it be um, talking speaking publicly whether it be encouraging women whether it be counseling like I find joy in helping people as the person that Christ made me to be so I've learned to just use my life to glorify him in any way possible I don't hold myself to um, cutthroat standards like you have to tweet five times a day about God you have to read your Bible 15 times today you have to pray for 20 hours today like I don't do that to myself anymore because that is bondage honestly like if if it's if it's more burdensome than it is freeing and liberating and you feeling that love from God and that not like I wouldn't say peace but just that freedom in, in Christ and doing things out of the love for God not because out of obligation or out of fear we do have our characteristics that we do have to maintain because it is becoming holy as Christ is holy it's best to seek God for yourself and truly um, see sin as sin is and grow as much as you can in Christ really and who Christ is calling you to be because Christ has called us all to be different vessels and different parts and different functions for the body of Christ and if you're limiting yourself to one area and you're not being understood as someone that has so many other gifts that you know Christ is calling to do different things and it's hard for others to understand you but being you in Christ and definitely do what you do to glorify God. Um, do what you do to um, lead others to Christ through your life, whether it be by cooking, whether it be by fashion, whatever it is. Do believe that Christ works through a lot of stuff. He can get the glory through your life and the love that you show others and just, you know, the nature that you take on, a nature that he has, that's that's stronger than you following a set of rules and being pharisaical and being legalistic. I feel like it's so much more genuine than a bunch of rules. My fourth biggest lesson is that God gives and takes. The year of 2016 and 2015, I lost a lot of relationships. Like God has restored that in 2016. God has mended those bridges. And I just, I love it. Cause it's like, I never thought God would do that. I never thought that it would ever go back to how it used to be. So I just learned that man, like, you know, God, you are so sovereign you are so sovereign my vision is short-sighted I can't see everything my vision is 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 blocked off by literally all I can see so um, just trusting God and just understanding that man like God is so faithful to the point that when he takes away either he'll give you back in tenfold or he will just keep it to him, or he'll just keep it forever or he'll restore it I mean it's whatever it is we just know that everything that God does is for your good and 
it's all a part of your sanctification process it's all a part of you know growing you and it's all a part of making you who you are called to be and becoming more holy as christ is holy so i truly think that um, when you lose friendships when you lose um maybe it, whether it be family members whether it be um a job or whatever it is just know that all of this is pruning you and growing you into the person that you've been called to be also sanctifying you to become the better christian i feel like our trials are part of our sanctification and that they they, they are a literal opportunity for us to become more christ-like so when we use these trials for our good even if the enemy meant them for our bad that gives God the glory. God will still get the glory in them. So praise God through whatever you're going through. And yes, he will get the glory. And yes, you will still come out of whatever storm you're in. And my final point is one that I recently just learned is that, man, you got to trust God. You just got to trust God. Um, so I took my GRE, I think, a two months ago or a month ago, and it didn't go too well. And it sucked because I studied. I did everything that I had to do. But I learned that, man, like... In the midst of my worrying, my crazy anxiety, like I had never experienced anxiety to that point, but in the midst of all of that, like God was still so sovereign and God was still planning my steps before me. And um, even with my GRE not going well, I am starting to see so many open doors, so many opportunities. I'm just like, man, God, like, you know, I always think of it in the sense of my plan B could have been God's plan A all along. And I truly feel like it's that free will that we have. Like, oh yeah, you know, in the heart of man, we plan our way, but only God can establish them. And I'm just like, duh, like, of course I can plan my way, but truly, truly, it's God's will that will be done at the end of the day. This doesn't mean that you should sit around and just chill and wait for God to do stuff. No, get up and, and you know, get busy, but it's like, just understand that changes will be made to your script and that's okay I see it more as guiding you and when he's closing one door he's opening others and if he chooses to close all doors for that season that's okay too because God is still God and God is still a good God so um, yeah I just learned that God's plan is ultimate and um, where he says I'll go I'll go I work myself up sometimes like oh my gosh it's not working out perfectly or oh my gosh um, things aren't the way they should be so I think that I'm learning in this season should just relax just to relax and just trust God for my future trust God for anything that I am looking to in the future and just, just rest in his sovereignty and um, just keep being crystal and keep you know planning and keep praying over my plans and asking God for clarity with what he wants me to do so by the grace of God I will be coming back with some news for you guys soon sooner or later um, that's kind of all the lessons that I learned this year um, I pray for 2017 to be a year of growth like huge growth guys like massive growth those are, but those are probably the five biggest lessons I've learned and I also want to answer some questions from Instagram live um, I went on live a few hours before this video and I took two questions out of the questions that I received and one of the questions was are you nervous about facing the next phase of life and honestly I'm not nervous I know you're like stop lying like why you lying why you always lying but no but no for real for real. like I'm not nervous right now like right now I'm not nervous because it's kind of like what is worrying gonna do for me and I'm really just in this mindset of create grow help people you know encourage people lead people um type mindset be crystal love god serve people love people so i'm really finding my purpose in that and i do have a little bit of time to be out of school to kind of like make videos and work and travel and just be who i am and the second question was um, what was the biggest thing you dealt with knowing you were graduating soon? What scared you the most? The biggest fear was uncertainty, really. Like, oh my gosh, like I'm a perfectionist, so obviously I'm about to graduate. What? Like, okay, so I have to have my life on down pat. Plans that I had literally shattered, like, and when they shattered, that's when I realized, like, man, God, you are so sovereign. You are so in control. Like, I surrender. Like, you got it you got it like you got it just letting go of those plans and just really like resting in god's sovereignty and just saying man god you know you got it um i'm just a vessel you know i'm just a vessel so use me as you please and i'm willing i'm willing to go i have dreams i have ambitions but it's like what good are they if god won't go with me or god isn't there i'm super excited for what the future holds my question for you guys is what are the biggest lessons 
that you have learned in 2016 or what is the biggest lesson that you learned in 2016 comment below or tweet me I would love to hear from you guys and like it could be anything it doesn't have to be school related it could be with friendships it could be with relationships it could be with life and I hope you guys have a happy new year I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!